the Centurion tank, as a tank successfully developed by Britain in the late stage of World War II, is undoubtedly one of the most successful tanks in the world. In the development of several decades, it has formed a large armored family with comprehensive functions, including the Centurion MK5 AVRE-165, which is the successor of the Churchill AVRE tank in World War II. Avery is the abbreviation of Armored Vehicle Royal Engineers, in English, which means Royal Engineers Armored Vehicle. In other words, it is an engineering tank, a relatively niche but not to be ignored equipment, which is equipped by various countries to a greater or lesser extent. The Centurion MK5 AVRE-165 is based on the MK5 tank that entered service in the mid-1950s. The MK5 type is like a dividing line in the entire Centurion tank series because the main weapon of the Centurion tanks after this model is the L7 105mm gun and the coaxial machine gun is changed to the Browning 7.62 lutter machine gun. Earlier models used the 17-pound gun or the 20-pound gun as the main weapon. The AVRE-165 has no significant changes in the body of the MK5 type and is powered by a 650-horsepower Rolls-Royce engine. The MK5 type weighs 51 tons, so the maximum speed is only 35 kilometers per hour. The maneuverability speed of the AVRE-165 may not be much different. The armor protection is also similar, with armor thickness ranging from 51 to 152 millimeters. In terms of personnel, the MK5 uses a standard four-person crew, while the AVRE-165 increases to five people. A hydraulic-powered dozer blade is installed on the front of the tank body, which is a standard component. The width of the blade is similar to that of the body, and it can also be installed on other Centurion tanks. It can be used for engineering construction and additional protection. The dozer blade of the AVRE-65 can also be removed and replaced with a mine plow. The tank-mounted dozer blade is very practical and can be used to level roads, build bases, clear debris, and even remove small explosives. The AVRE-165 can carry fascinés, which is the English translation of chai kun in Chinese. This is often seen in old photos from World War I, where tanks carry a large bundle of firewood. The tank can place it in trenches to pave roads. However, the AVRE-165 can carry more than this, including metal tracks for bridging. When using fascines, the turret needs to be turned to the rear, and the fascines are fixed above the front of the tank. The driver observes driving the tank through a limited space, and after reaching the position, the explosive pin is detonated to release the fascines. The AVRE-165 can tow a 7.5-ton trailer, which can be equipped with metal road surfaces, explosive charges, mine detectors, mine launchers, or other engineering equipment. The trailer can also be separated from the crew by explosive pins to avoid becoming a burden in some special situations. The Churchill AVRE developed during World War II was equipped with a 290 mm caliber gun nicknamed the Dustbin Gun Launcher. Using breech loading, it can launch an 18 kilos high explosive shell up to 100 yards away to destroy obstacles, fortifications, and other targets. On the AVRE-165, it was replaced with another 165mm caliber L9A1 gun, which, although smaller in caliber, is much more powerful. It uses a 29 kilos Hesh shell with 14.5 kilos of explosive, a maximum range of 2,600 yards, about 2,380 meters, and can also be used to attack lightly armored targets in emergency situations. The Centurion MK5 AVRE-165 was developed in the 1960s with a relatively small production volume. The British Army used it in the Gulf War and then gradually phased it out of history. With the rise of modular design, most of today's main battle tanks can install some auxiliary equipment as needed to a certain extent, replacing the AVR. Today's professional engineering tanks are more comprehensive in functionality capable of performing engineering operations, armored repairs, mine clearance, and other tasks, making them more suitable for modern battlefields.